Columbus, Ohio, where we're at for this college football matchup. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. been waiting all week for this one get ready folks the opening kickoff is finally here he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20 and he makes it on to about the 24 yard line the Buckeyes right now Kirk I think they've just got to play within themselves sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game I agree with you I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited sometimes you force a play let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it so we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to him well i think he came down with it but from up in the booth it's hard to tell so the referee is going to take a look at several angles now remember he's seeing the same thing we are and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call after review you play the ruling on the field is reversed so the call on the field will be reversed tackled at the 49-yard line. Unselfish play by the quarterback as the option gives them a nine-yard gain. He's going to try and scramble. Fumble. The offense scoops it. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. knock him down for a loss it's a big time read by this safety you know a lot of times as a safety you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you i think this safety has that sixth sense his instincts on that play were special he read the run got into the backfield and made the play gain of two on the play that'll bring up third and eight He wants it all. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Touchdown, Buckeyes. He makes the PAT, a six-play, 59-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Strike complete, he's down. That brings him second and five. From their own 30 yard line, second down. a great call yeah here you see the draw play at its best the tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards up the middle for a nice game that's a gain of six on the play that'll make it second and four they're about four yards away here on second down Oh, 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 oh. 
He's taken down at the 44. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. There's a play fake. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. This guy is mostly used to stop to run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Gets out to about the 31. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And they make the stop at about the 49. Ohio State up seven points. yard line watch down and he's gonna get sacked that's a loss of three yards that brings us fourth and eleven Fourth down, they'll call on the field goal unit here. Ohio State is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and it's puts the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Makes it to the 41. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense trying to wear them down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's at the 40. And they finally bring him down. That's the 27. This back might need a breather after that run. But when he comes back, just give it to him again. First and ten following that big run. Brought down at about the 25-yard line. Fires incomplete. 
complete. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. They can't hear a thing down there. And he's hit immediately. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. 10-0, Ohio State. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the eight-yard line. And down he goes at about the nine-yard line. This play is number eight on the drive. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Catches it, and that's all. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. Tackle made at the three. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gets out to around the 12. He has some room. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. Makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third and ten. Ball on their own 24. Set, two, set. Set. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled in the open field. Number 22 on the tackle at the 31 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Oh, excellent punt. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gives it to the back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Open field. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Number one makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. That makes this third and three. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. That's a deep 12 play. First and 10. Ball on the 48. He 
He fights forward to about the 46. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. The Hawkeyes will use their first time out of the half. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. And here's another third down. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. On the ground with a tailback. Makes it out to about the 23. Gets rid of this one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gives it off. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Iowa is going to have to use their second time out of the half. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. They failed down here the last two times. Setting up the play action. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he adds the extra point. So a 10-play, 67-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Keep 15, keep 15. Ohio State has a three-point lead. Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the 25. Time with both offenses struggling. 10 7, Buckeye. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. 
How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Going left on the counter. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets to around the 42. First down. throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football and check it down or take off and run with it. He's at midfield, and he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. Mike five, Mike five. <laughs> Brought down in the open field. Well defended, but it's complete for good yardage. Just a risky throw here by the quarterback. You cannot keep tossing it up into the secondary like that and expect your guy to come down with it every time. The defense is going to jump on one of those and take it the other way. First and ten. Ball on the 29. Three down, three down. Five's the mark. Five's the mark. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring the quarterback down. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. the catch and look out. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Taken down around the 17 yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17 yard line. The 10. And that sets them up for the first and goal. That's a gain of 10 on the play. 10th play of the drive. They make the stop at the one yard line. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the one. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, Iowa!
tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Hawkeyes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle around the 20-yard line. Three yards on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 20. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Number 22 on the top the 27-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Gives it up the gut. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. No game. Let's go, let's go. That brings up third and ten. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number 27 breaks us up. That'll make it fourth and ten. Whoa, he just took a lick it. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Nice run, and he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. Iowa is up by four. He makes it to the 42-yard line. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Now he pitches it, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. The Hawkeyes quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. So at the end of three, the Hawkeyes lead 14-10. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Short over the middle, and he's level at the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Some open field. That'll make it second and four. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. 
Iowa holds a four-point lead. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And this play is number eight on the drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11. And he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. That is a loss of nine on the play. That'll make it second and nine. This is the 10th play of this drive. Good outside run there. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Rifles at right. And he came down with it. What a catch. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11-play, 67-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Well, at this point in the game, this offense has no choice. They've got to try to get down the field as quickly as possible and come up with a touchdown Probably an onside kick or a quick defensive stop. Get the ball back and get another touchdown. So they need to execute and execute as well as they can. Fires out to his receiver. Just under three to go in regulation. And a quick throw. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. Stopped immediately. That'll make it second and four. They go back to him on a quick throw. Big play, and it's first and goal. Play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He fights forward to about the 20. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. 
from their own 20-yard line. It's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Ohio State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He scrambles. Breaks one. The Buckeyes using their third and final timeout. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Fires it out, and he's tackled around the 33-yard line. Throws it deep. It's caught. Touchdown, Buckeyes. So the offense is going to go for two. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they won't get the two. A short three-play, 42-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. And down he goes at the 39. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 35. Under a minute left in the game. Makes it to the 27. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. High five, high five. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 21-16, Hawkeye. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.